What is good everyone? This is Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan. Today I'm going to introduce you to several basic concepts and methods that will help you make the most money in RP in GT Online using legit methods. This review is organized into small sections, so check in the description below for more info. And everything's been summarized to save time, so let's get into it. Best versus efficient. We need to think what the word best job means. Best is not the most total rewards you can get. Best is the highest payout you can earn for the amount of time spent. In other words, the jobs that are most efficient. If job A gives 20,000 cash for 20 minutes played, it may sound great but actually gives a terrible payout of only 1,000 cash per minute. Now let's say job B gives 10,000 cash for 5 minutes played, giving us 2,000 cash per minute. That is twice as efficient giving you double the money in the same amount of time spent playing. This is exactly why bigger rewards are not necessarily better if they take longer to do. Check out my other GTA vids for dozens of other job reviews using this type of analysis. Sell cars. You can make some good cash with very low risk by stealing cars and selling them to the custom shops. Since you can only sell one car per 48 minutes of real time, I recommend storing extra cars in a 10 car garage near a custom shop. The best car to sell, hands down, is the Galavanter Baller because they are extremely common and give nearly the highest payback at $9,000. Go hunt down a handful of ballers, keep them stockpiled in your garage, then sell them when you're ready for some very efficient cash. You can find them all over the city, even in poor, middle class, and rich neighborhoods. If timed and managed well, you can earn an extremely high payout for a minimal time and effort needed. Grind Grinding is a simple concept. When you play more, you earn more. Grinding does not have to be boring, nor does it mean repeating the same job constantly. Grinding just means being persistent. Instead of trolling or bounty hunting or buying outfits, spend more time in jobs or events. If you finished a mission, don't exit the free mode and search again. Vote for the next job and continue playing. If your crew is even semi-decent, stick together for bonus rewards and to help motivate each other. If you joined a heist crew, stay together until the big finale. If playing solo, you get paid slightly less, but it also lets you focus directly on your goal without distractions. So I'll repeat. To level up higher, to get better cars and gear, you need to keep playing and keep earning efficient rewards. Daily Objectives Daily Objectives have the potential to offer some very good payouts if played smart. You get 25,000 in cash and 3,000 RP for completing the three randomly generated objectives for that day. You can also get weekly and monthly bonuses if you're hardcore. Sometimes they can be extremely easy like participating in a race, playing a round of golf, or modding your car. But other times they can be time consuming like claiming a bounty or stealing 20 cars. As a guideline, if you can complete all three in around 10 minutes of actual event time, then keep doing them. If it takes a lot longer than that, you'd get more efficient payouts doing regular jobs like I've reviewed. Invite only session. If you don't like getting trolled, stalked, spawn killed, or generally harassed in public sessions, then the solution is to make an invite only session. To join, go to single player story mode, press the menu button, and select online, play GTA online, invite only session. Note this is very different from solo session which limits the game modes you can join. In an invite only session, you are in the online world by yourself with the ability to invite friends and host or join games or events with multiple players. Basically, you are ensuring your peace and safety while not in a job, while still having access to join and play all jobs as you normally would. Win-win. Contact missions. Contact missions can offer some very good cash and RP rewards if you choose the right ones and know how to complete them. Stick to jobs with straightforward goals with a fixed objective that doesn't move. Destroy target at point A, return to point B. They're easier to master and increase your efficiency. Stay away from unpredictable jobs that have moving targets or force you on a wild goose chase. Also, try using the on-call feature to get into jobs quickly. 
Then take advantage of the bonus cash and RP you can earn for playing with more players, with friends on your buddy list, or with crew members. Generally, an average job should give around 2300 in cash and 500 plus RP per minute for playing it clean and fast. Most of my income now comes from regular jobs so I can choose a wide variety of missions without getting bored. Heists. Heists are hit or miss, so you're taking a gamble. They can be incredibly fun and rewarding in a good crew with cooperative players if done in a reasonable time. I earned a total of 320000 the first time I finished Prison Break. To get the big reward though, you'll have to finish all the setup missions leading up to it, which can take anywhere from 20 minutes each to one hour or more, depending on your crew. Things can be incredibly frustrating when you fail repeatedly, when people don't cooperate, and when quitters force you to start over and find a new crew from scratch. These factors make it difficult to fully recommend Heist as a consistent, stable activity considering how much time is potentially lost. Yes, you can win big, but you can also fail big too. Not worth it. There are many activities that are either unpredictable or guaranteed to give you inefficient low rewards for the amount of time invested and are therefore not worth it. Parachuting can give out some decent RP, though the overall rewards are much lower than regular jobs. Racing and sports again pay out much worse compared to regular jobs. The one plus is that winning co-op races unlocks modifications that can really boost your car's performance. Bounties are completely unpredictable. It may only take you 2 minutes to claim a bounty, but it may take you 10, or you may never even get the kill. If you want to gamble, you might as well do heists for a huge potential reward instead of a measly 10k. Stealing for Simeon is low risk, but also very low reward. You earn only half what you could make from a baller, and you waste considerable time searching for the car and delivering it to the docks. Robberies are pathetic giving out horribly low payouts at a high risk. At best, you get a few hundred dollars, then either waste time hiding from the cops or pay lesser to remove your wanted level. Armored cars are a little better than robberies, but still pay poor at high risk and spawn very infrequently. So these are the most important tips I can give for making well-earned and efficient cash and RP in GTA Online. Remember, these were just summaries, so a lot of info was skipped. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more guides, more job reviews, and more stat breakdowns. Thanks for watching guys, this has been Kuzu Roger. Ooh.